Today we're going to learn about the letter F. The letter F. Do you know what words start with the letter F? <gasps> Those are some amazing ideas. There are lots of words that start with the letter F. Like fun or fish. Fish starts with the letter F. F for fish. Do you know another word that starts with the letter F? How about a fox? Fox starts with the letter F. Today, we're going to learn how to write the letter F, spell a word that starts with the letter F. We're going to draw and make a craft. So if you're excited to learn all about the letter F, put your hands up, put your hands down, clap and move that paintbrush all around and let's make some art. Let's do a drawing for the letter F. Do you know what words or animals start with the letter F? F says f, f, f. Hmm, what animals or other words start with the letter F? F, f. Oh, I know. How about frog? F, frog. F, frog. What about f? Fox. Fox starts with the letter F. F. Fox. Oh, I have one more idea. How about F. Fish. Fish starts with the letter F. Let's do a fish. First, we're going to write the capital letter F. We're going to draw one line down and two lines at the top. Lowercase letter F, we start off with a big green line up, over, and down. And then in the middle, we draw a short line. Let uppercase or capital letter F and lowercase letter F. Let's write the word fish. Let's start with our capital letter F, one line down two lines across f -i -sh, f -i -sh, fish f -i -sh. do you know what makes a I -I -I sound f -i -I. oh yeah it's an i f -i -sh, sh i hear a sh at the end f -i -sh. What's two letters when we put them together make a shh sound? Shh. Yes. S and H. F -i -sh. F -i -sh. Fish. Fish starts with the letter F for fish. Let's draw a fish. Let's begin with a big curving line up, over and down. Let's draw at the front a line in with a little curve on the end. Let's draw a bottom curve across and we'll stop leaving a little gap at the back for where we're gonna put our tail. I have about a finger space at the back. Let's draw a curve line up and out on the top and bottom for tail.
Let's draw zigzag lines down from the top to the bottom of tail. Let's draw a dorsal fin by drawing one line that goes out on an angle or a diagonal and down to the body. We're going to do that at the bottom as well. Out, but this time we're going to go up, down, up, down, and up. Let's add lines in our tail and our fins to make fin texture on our fish. Ooh, I think I heard the f sound. Fin, fish, f, fin. I think fin starts with the letter F too. Let's give our fish an eye. Let's draw a circle beside the mouth. In the circle, let's draw a smaller circle. Let's color it in, leaving just that small circle nice and white. And so our fish can breathe underwater, we're going to give it gills. So we're going to draw three curving lines for gills for our fish to breathe underwater. And once you're done, you're ready to color in your fish with your favorite fish colors and using your favorite art making mediums. Once you're done, your lovely fish is ready to go and have fun in the pond or maybe a fish tank. Hello my friend! It's time to make our letter F craft. Our letter F craft. Do you have an idea for what we can make for the letter F? Hmm. Well, we have done a fish. There's a frog. Do you have ideas for the letter F? Oh my, those are amazing ideas. I love all of your ideas. Let's make a fox mask for the letter F. Let's grab a fox color piece of paper. I'm going to do an orange fox mask. Let's draw our fox's face, the big oval, big oval needs to be as big as your face. Now we need two fox ears, so we're going to draw two triangles at the top, nice and tall, and I like to bring them farther down the head. Nice and tall, farther down the head. So good. All right, my lovely friend. We're going to grab some white paper now for the rest of Fox's face. White paper. 
we're going to fold it in half. This is called, well, we're pulling the portrait side into half and we're making it like a hamburger. Hot dogs are longer, so sometimes we fold it like a hot dog when it's folded the long way. But we're folding it the short way, like a hamburger bun. Now, we're going to cut it along the seam line so you can see where the fold line is. We're on the fold side, not the open side. We have two sides, one side that opens and one side that's closed, the seam. Open side, closed side. We're gonna draw on the closed side a heart, half a heart. We're gonna go up, over, and down, like that. Half a heart on the closed side. See, this side is open. We drew it on the closed side, okay? the closed side. So that way, there'll be half a heart on the closed side. Now, we're going to cut the heart along that the line that we drew with whatever you drew it with. We're gonna make a heart shape this way. Okay. You can see, when I open this, there's a big heart hole in the middle. We can keep that for later. And when I open up this one, I have a lovely heart that I can use on Fox's face, just like this. So I will turn it around. I'm gonna glue it just like this with the point coming down off the page. Don't worry if it's bigger than the circle. It's okay, we're just making a craft. All right, let's either glue it or tape it on. I'm just gonna add some glue to my Fox face or the top half of the heart. You don't need to do the bottom half because it's off the paper. We just need a little bit of glue, not a lot. And we close our glue stick and we're gonna push the lid till we hear a click. Okay, two hands to lift. I hold by the edges and I'm gonna place it onto the face. Take two flat hands to press and hold because we gotta adhere the glue particles to both papers. Now I like to hold it for a little bit to make sure it sticks. And then when I lift, I have a fox shape. Now we can cut it out and this is when we can trim some of the extra face off where it's too, coming out past the orange. See, I cut it off, the extra. That's why we don't worry if it's too big. It's okay. If it's too small, that's fine too. Don't worry about it. I have some orange around it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This piece of paper is still a nice size, so I'm going to keep it. Same with this one. That's going on my scrap paper bin. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the rest of the face out, nice and slowly, so I can be safe with my scissors. I got a fox face. Cool, right? Okay, now let's draw the nose at the bottom. So we're gonna draw a circle at the bottom and color it in. Like that. I'm gonna put two triangles in the ears and color them in pink for the inner ear. Okay, just like that. Now we're missing something. Do you know what this fox face is missing? missing eye holes. Now we're not going to draw eyes, we're gonna draw big circles that we're gonna cut out. And you're going to ask a, an adult to cut them out for you. So you're going to draw two big circles. So you have lots of room for your eyes so there. Don't have to worry about lining it up perfectly. Two big circles for your eyes. 
And when you find an adult to help you, maybe later, it could be now, it might be later, you might have to be patient and wait till they're ready to help you. You're going to ask them to help you when they have a moment. May you please help me cut out the eye holes on my fox. And it helps if you take them the scissors too. If you take them the scissors, they say, please, when you have a moment, can you cut out the eye holes on my fox? Then when you take them the scissors, then they might do it quicker because you already got the scissors there. Okay, so I got one eye hole out. And now I'm gonna cut out number two. Number two, Scooby-Doo. to wear it you could put a string around it so it stays on your head or if you don't have that you can get a stick of some kind and attach it to the bottom so you can hold it up to your face like this and just like that your lovely fox, fox mask for the letter F is done let's make a letter F draw painting Let's make our letter F painting. Yes, so this is a part where you get to relax and watch me paint something that starts with the letter F. Hmm, what should we paint today that starts with the letter F? Hmm, do you have some ideas? Wow, those are amazing ideas. Well, you know what? I think we're going to paint a frog. Let's get going on frogs. Eyes and frog's body. Let's add some circles to make frog's eyes. And we'll color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles nice and white. Frog a nice little mouth and some feet in the front, a big frog belly, and some frog spots. And give it some back feet so it can jump, jump, jump. frog. Let's paint it in. I'm going to start by painting my frog green. Now lily pads are also green and that's probably because frogs like to blend in with its environment with camouflage so a predator doesn't see it. But there are lots of different kinds of green in this world. There's blue greens and yellow greens. So we can use different greens for each part.
dog's belly. And let's paint frog's spots. Let's add some pink to frog's little cheeks. I'm going to paint the webbing yellow. I'll paint the lily pad. And we'll add some blue details in the background to create the idea of a sky. Just like that, frog is done. Hi, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me and learning about the letter F with me. I hope you had so much fun. I know that I did. We learned how to make a lovely fox craft. And we learn all about the letter F. If you would like to learn more and find more art ideas, you can visit artastickids.com. I would love for you to continue to be creative at home, keep practicing making crafts and exploring drawing using whatever comes to your imagination. Don't worry about making mistakes because mistakes help us learn and we might discover something amazing from a mistake. So embrace your mistakes and incorporate them into your drawings. That's the lovely thing about art is that there are no rules. You can create whatever comes to your imagination or comes from your heart. I hope you had tons of fun with me learning about the letter F, and I had tons of fun with you. And I hope that you will subscribe to the channel and that I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.